Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So I'm wearing something other than black and my makeup's not on, which means today's video is going to be a disaster, but I'm kind of excited for it. So today we are dyeing my hair. I'm wearing my hair color dress and I am ready to go. We did an early morning trip to Sally's and I am stoked. So I've been planning to do this for like a week now but they finally got a restock of the dye I wanted to use. So today we are going to be trying the Good Dye Young hair dye from Haley Williams from Paramore. And this is the shade Riot because I want orange hair for spooky season. August, September, I'm thinking about having orange hair and then we'll do something fun for October. Maybe you guys can guess what it is, but I am excited. I've never tried this brand before. I always use Arctic Fox all the time and I've never tried this, but I wanted to. So that's what we're gonna do today. But of course, first I have to take this color out. So let's do that. All right, before we get into it, I am not a hair care professional. I do this for fun and because I'm cheap. I am not trying to say do this to your hair, but I'm showing you what I do and maybe it'll work out fine. We'll see. Sometimes it takes a lot more effort than I expected to change hair colors, but let's get started. So right now I have dark purple. There's some red mixed in here too. Um, my roots need to be bleached too, so we'll handle that next. But first, I have this color remover. So I went to Sally's. I was just going to get a normal color remover. I got to the register and the lady was like, you look like you've done this a lot. This is more professional grade. It works better. So we're going to see if it does. It is the L'Oreal Technique color remover. She said this is like a professional grade one. We will see. Then I'm going to add this with 20 volume developer. Um, I don't do anything over 20 usually because my hair looks pretty fast. This is a semi-permanent. This says it works on permanent. So I think it should come out pretty fast and it says it can lift up like like within 25 to 20 minutes, like excess permanent colors come out. So I don't know. We'll see. We're going to play it by eye, but I'm going to mix this up with 20 volume developer and get it in my hair. So I'm stirring this up. I should probably go over my plan of action. I think I kind of covered it. So firstly, I want to take the majority of the excess hair dye out. Purple usually comes out pretty easily. It's just like there's under stuff under here too. So I want to get the... <coughs> Oh yeah, the excess color out, this smells bad. And then I'm going to bleach my roots so they can be blonde and ready for hair dye. And then we're gonna try this. It is healthy, hair healthy, vibrant color, essential oil fragrance, vegan, cruelty free, born in Nashville. And I'm a huge Haley Williams fan. So I wanted to try her brand and I've heard this fades pretty quickly. I will be the judge of that, but for now we're just gonna test it out on my hair. I'm also gonna add like one or two drops of purple to this to give it more of a gingery tone. Alright guys, so this is in my hair. I'm turning pink already because there is red in this purple mixture. So the ends don't look like they're lifting, which is the most porous of my hair. So I'm not sure if the ends are going to completely do it. But I'm going to leave this in for a little while. I'll just feel it out by eye and then I'll tell you how long I left it in. Alright, so I'm back and I'm pink and blonde. So that actually did an amazing job. Like this is what I'm working with. A lot of blonde, some pink on the roots. I didn't really apply too much to the roots because I know it's going to bleach this area anyways um so I could just run it down a little bit if I had to but honestly this is a great base to work off of I have some dark spots towards the back where I was starting to run out of uh the product and you may think I don't need to bleach my roots but in the back my roots are pretty bad and as you can tell there's like a shadow so I'm naturally blonde but if I don't bleach my roots then the hair color won't stick so my permanent colors won't stick unless your hair is kind of porous so I'm gonna bleach my roots I don't think it should take too long and I already brushed out my hair. I usually don't brush my hair when it's wet, but I like halfway dried it so I could, so I could kind of section it off and bleach as I go. But let's get into it because like this is a really good base to start off with. Like I can work with this perfectly fine. Like this is fantastic. Okay, so I ran a little bit of bleach through my uh, brows as well just for a couple minutes and this is what we're working with I ran a little bit through the pink not much just I had a lot of uh, extra bleach powder that I made so honestly I'm just gonna leave this on for like 10 minutes let my roots lift a little bit and then I'll be done and rinse it out and then we'll start with the orange okay so I'm not brushing my hair while it's still semi-wet I don't want to but my roots are bleached 
Um, and I really appreciate that this isn't a squeezy tube, but you can probably tell the nervousness in my voice because this is the color I want. And this is a bright red, not orange. Now, I was looking through their like highlights on their Instagram page um, just to see how it looked in people's hair. And they were saying a different color looks different in the, I think it was their yellow looks like orange in the bowl. So I'm hoping this isn't this color because I'll pass away. I added two or three drops of the purple just because usually when I do orange hair, I add a couple drops of purple. It gives it more of that gingery effect instead of just like a neon. So I'm hoping for the best, but I'm scared. Also, I don't know how long I'm supposed to leave this on. I don't really say. Does it say it on the back? Okay, so at least 30 minutes. I can handle that, but I hope this comes out orange because I don't want red hair right now. Oh my gosh, it's so red. <laughs> what is happening? Alright guys, so on my hands it looks more orange, but in my hair it's looking pretty red, which I guess will be fine, but I want it orange. So I'm going to put a little bit of this in my brows for a few minutes. I'm going to leave this on for about 30, like it said, because I don't know how it's going to turn out. I do have some left in the tube if I need to touch this up, but hopefully this will be a pretty orange. I think it's going to be too much, to be honest, but we're going to try it anyways. Whoosh! Hello. <laughs> so this is my finished hair color. It is a lot. Like on the box, it looks nice and orangey and like subtle and kind of peachiness to it. Like it was a nice little orange citrusy color in a person. And on my head, it is like whoosh, way more. It's way more Riot Haley Williams like back in the day, Paramore Riot color. It just does not match what's on the box, unfortunately. I wanted that color. I got this. It is definitely like... I can live with it, but it is a lot for me. I am so cool toned that this um, just neon like vibrancy is a lot for my skin tone, I think. And maybe when it like fades a little bit, it'll look a little more normal. This is definitely something I'm not gonna like take out or anything. So this is what it looks like up close. It actually dyed my hair really consistently. It coated it perfectly. There's like no need for touch-ups or anything. Towards the ends, it does look a little peachier where it was more blonde. This is a little deeper where it was a little more pink. But overall, like it looks really consistent, really nice. Now, because I added a couple drops of purple, like I normally do when I dye my hair orange, I figured it'd be a little more gingery than this. But since the color in the, like the tube and in the bowl looked way more red, it was hard for me to tell how much purple to add. So I couldn't like see what the colors would look like on me. So that's probably why it didn't come out more gingery like I wanted it to. It came out very like crazy. But it's really consistent looking and looks really evenly coated. So I am happy with that. I'm also happy to see a celebrity who I respect doing a line, a brand that actually makes sense for them. Not just like, here's Bella Thorne releasing makeup. You know, that was weird. <laughs> At least she's known for her fun hair colors and stuff. I think it's a great fit. They also have poser paste if you're trying to like try this brand and don't want it in your hair for a long period of time. I personally am kind of like... I mean, again, I wish it was, I wish it was that color true to the box. I'm kind of curious as to how it's going to fade because I haven't tried this brand before. Of course, I'll leave you guys updated in like my monthly favorites probably for next month, maybe not July's. And then like, I'll tell you and maybe I'll update the description box telling you how this fades out because I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, I would definitely like ginger it up more in the future. But as of right now, this color came out really nice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think down below. I know everyone loves my purple. I love purple too, but I also love having orange hair. Just not this vibrant. I feel like a Cheeto. I got called a traffic cone <laughs> as soon as I got out of the shower. Um, but yeah, it's fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you later. Bye.